Hello, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can properly properly use the Layer Painter add-on. Now, Layer Painter is not a free add-on; it's paid. Now, I'll leave a link of the uh, the place where you can download it in the description below this video. But right now, I'm going to show you how you can use it. Um, I had some issues starting off with it as I followed the tutorial because I don't know if this is just a newer version of the uh, the uh, add-on. But following the tutorial, I got kept getting error messages, but I was able, to, with God's help, to figure out how to uh, actually use it. Now, this character that I've downloaded is from the iClone uh, character creator tutorial, or not tutorial, the character creator trial uh, version. And I've exported him uh, as a wavefront object into Blender with all the textures. And I'm looking at him in the uh, viewport shading mode. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that once you uh, use Layer Painter, it, does, it doesn't do non-destructive editing, which means that if you paint on your model, a uh, texture on top of the model, it's going to be permanent. It's going to stay there. So in order to avoid any issues of trying to use that same texture again, make a copy of your texture first, then use it inside of Blender with Layer Painter. And I'll show you how to do that also. But once you've installed the add-on, through the preferences and you have it running in Blender by clicking on the checkbox you can go to this next process which is clicking on layer painter before you do that make sure you choose whatever texture you want to work on this has multiple textures this is how it was exported from character creator so we're going to work on this part of his body with this is which is his chest so we're going to click on skin body once you've done that click on layer painter and once you first use Layer Painter, it does walk you through the first few steps of starting how of how to use the, the uh, add-on. But as I mentioned previously, I was having issues with warnings and pop-ups that kept coming up saying that this was missing, that was missing. So this is the way you can do it without running into those issues. So click on Layer Painter. After you've selected the mesh or the texture you want to paint on, then click on Activate Layer Paint. Then reset material and OK. And the next thing we're going to do is click on this little icon here, which is how you add layers to whatever you're working on. You can tell that this part of the mesh has been selected because it's shiny, it's glossy, and the rest of it isn't. But we're going to click on layer. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on this icon. Now, in the tutorial that comes with Layer Painter, it tells you to click on the brush. But as soon as you click on the brush, for myself I got an error message which I don't know why that was but we're going to click on this icon here and then once we've done that we're going to click on this um, folder so we want to load this texture into layer painter so it can be used to paint on so I click on our folder here I'm going to navigate to where I've saved it which is in this folder man and I've already made a copy of uh, that texture and for you to make a copy of it all you have to do is is you know navigate to where you saved that texture and highlight it by uh, left clicking I want you left clicked on it right click and then click on copy and then kind of find an open space within that window right click again and click on paste and it makes a copy of it which is right here which is, which is what we're going to use inside the layer painter add-on so I'm going to navigate to where I've saved that copy of his chest, the texture of his chest, which is this, open texture. And then you want to click on brush. Once you've done that, you can paint here if you want to. You can paint white on him. But if you're wanting to use the... Uh, paints within Blender, that's fine, you can change the color and so on and so forth, but if you want to use a texture to paint on your model, the next thing you have to do is go down here to the uh, texture properties, click on that, and click on new, and leave all these settings the way they are, and let's click on open, and I'm going to navigate to where I've saved a lot of textures on my computer, and I'm going to let's use something kind of strange let's use this texture click on that open image and then once you've done that this is the texture is going to paint on your image which is this and that's how to use 
layer painter as a beginner in Blender. And then once we export this texture, it's going to export this, but we'll still have our original texture, you know, in the original folder. And that wouldn't be bothered at all. But yeah, that's how you can use uh, layer painter as a beginner if you're just if you've just bought it and you want to use it in Blender, that's how you can use it and avoid all the hiccups that I went through when I first started using it. So yeah, that's today's Blender quick tip. I hope it was helpful to those of you who have watched it. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed, those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.